enjoy what you can, but do do not overconsume yourself and be over concerned about stuff you cannot control. Everyone says that, but just be be literal about that. Say, look, I can't control that. I need to pay my bills. I need to feed myself. I need to develop my skills and abilities and blah, blah, blah. There is plenty on our plates. We don't need to over overindulge ourselves and a lot of bullshit that's out there, a lot of rambling and a lot of intentional wanting to create confusion. Welcome to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Love is spoken here with your host and guide, Michelle Carithers. Evolution of the consciousness, love is spoken here. I'm Michelle Carithers. On this Saturday, March 30th, 2024, I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently and marvelous because I am. And for the people on the East Coast, Michelle Hill. All right, all right. So, <laughs> On these overcast skies, might be a bit cool, not really sure. Uh, the temperature is supposedly in the 40s, maybe 50s. I, I mean, I'm really, really enjoying this. I really, really am enjoying this, you know, this this uh, difference in temperature over here on the West Coast. So anyway, I'm up, I'm at it, I'm getting ready to start my day. And I want to come in and put some sounds in your ear. And, you know, let you know, you know, what's going on in my neck of the world and my neck of the woods. And everything is peaceful here. I, I've created a peaceful environment. Uh, everything is uh, going as it should. You know, there's there's steps to everything. And I told you, you know, when you're on a journey and when you're on a path, you know, you're going to have some interference. You're going to have people blocking you. You're going to have people uh, yelling at you, screaming on the sidelines like cheerleaders, you know, giving you advice, and sadly, a lot of advice, a lot of advice that is given, has not been experienced by a lot of people, except in the world of uh, the internet or the world of social media. You could tell a lot of them are wet behind the ears and can barely wipe their ass properly. So, those are the things that we're going to have to contend with. There's no way to get around that type of interference because we're so massively, massively overpopulated. So where are these people going to go? You know, and a lot of people are going to figure this out. But sadly, it's going to be too late for a lot of people because there's a lot of people denying everything. Oh, no, the temper, the, the weather is this is this how the weather is supposed to be. Like, how would they know? You know, th this is how this is supposed to be. This is how that is supposed to be. Uh, I don't see a change in the environment. I don't see a change in the trees. I don't see the the mountains slowly disappearing. No, I don't see that. You know, you, you'll run into a lot of that kind of conversation and discussion, and that's free will. People can do whatever the hell they want. They can think the way they want it, you know, think however they want to think, believe whatever they want to believe, because that's that's the that's the beauty of free will. Because it puts the accountability and the responsibility on the individual. In other words, you know, you cultivated, contemplated your realities. So if you like being delusional and illusionary and believing everything's fine, there's no problems here. Well, then everything's fine and there's no problems here. Okay, but just be prepared for any and everything. That's all. Just be prepared and pay attention to your surroundings, you know. Protect yourself, regardless of what you believe. Just protect yourself. Be more engaged in suspending your ego, suspending your beliefs and convictions, and, and, and see what else happens for you. See what else opens up for you. And you may be surprised. You know, I'm thinking back when I had this significant breakthroughs in my life. There, there have been several, several stages of that as I am developing. And I can remember it was around 2000, it, it, it was between 2007 and 2000, let's say 2007 and 2010. In that, in that span of time, I, I know that I had a shift in my reality. And what the hell does that mean? <laughs> it meant that maybe there is something else. You know, why am I 
traveling this way. Why am I on this journey? I need to go this way. And also during that time, that's when I was having a lot of financial difficulties. You know what? And that's the thing about your life as it develops. If you are not paying attention, you will get the experiences to forcefully, forcelessly force you to take care of business. And so that's when I I didn't have it. I I didn't have a television because I couldn't afford it. And the only thing I had was a laptop. Okay, and a pallet on the floor, and living in a you know living in a apartment at that time. But at the same time, I had a great job, making good decent money. But yet I could not afford a television. So, and at the same time as well, I had all of these bells and whistles about what you need to be considered successful. And that's why I say to everyone, please sit down and relax. And as I said, suspend your ego and this and that and the other and ask yourself, what in the world is success? What does that mean to me? Not what everybody else is doing. Because a lot of people are lying to you about how rich they are, how much they know, how much experience they've had. They're lying to you. And you'll never get an opportunity to necessarily research it because some of them live out of the country. Some of them live, you know, in another state. And, you know, a lot of us are not, I mean, I'm, I wouldn't waste my time going to certain people that I that I can sense and receive are lying to people. But hey, it is a free will and we do have to do our own research and discernment. We do. So it's it's, it's all free will. So all you can do is be told certain things and be made aware of certain things. But after that, all hands off, hands are off. Uh, You know, I need to go on and do what I need to do just as everybody else. But, you know, I'm not in the business of attempting to convince anyone, be demanding of people and, 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 and commanding people how to act and behave. It is a free will. It's, you know, it's a, you know, it's your, your life. And when you die, no one's going with you. You'll be on that journey by yourself. So get used to that. And I mean that literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. Get used to it. So anyway, I, you know, have been looking around the social media environment and looking around the, you know, the internet in general. And I'm telling you, I'm really, really enjoying some of the content out there. I really am. I think for me, being able to, choose what I want to listen to and then dismiss the rest of it is good for me. That's why, like I said, I do not have cable. I do not have any paying streaming service. I, you know, I just, I just find these free places to view stuff and then I go on. Again, I used to be able to binge watch programming, you know, which I may do with a a few programs. (laughs) But I can remember being just sitting in my, wherever I was at the time, and and I can sit there and watch certain programming over and over and over again. And that was more or less a stress release. I can be real honest with you about that because I was in a toxic, stressful, uh, hostile environment working. So, that was more or less like a stress reliever for me to kind of binge watch and, and watch certain programming and blah, blah, blah. So I suggest to all of us to find out what are you doing with your time? What are you thinking about? What's troubling you? And, you know, how can you resolve certain things? And no one has to know that. No one has to know. Now, if you are involved with someone in a partnership, you can share things, which is beautiful, I think to be able to to have that type of relationship with someone. But as I I put out a a video, <laughs> you know, it's a it's very controversial. It's something to contemplate, cultivate, properly meditate, and properly ruminate about, to ask questions, to go there, take yourself there, stretch your imagination and say, hey, let's consider this. And then and then See what happens. But do not get yourself worked up with what you're going to be hearing. There's going to be a lot of people coming out doing everything in their power to get in front of your face and get you scared and get you concerned and get you worried. And then they're going to be the ones claiming to have the answers. But yet you have to follow them on their 
wherever they are to to you know it's only exclusively given to you if you you know pay for it you have to pay for that st- this stuff and i feel i feel so concerned about a lot of people because a lot of people are just sending themselves into a self-created psychosis in their conscious you know in their consciousness a self-created because they just cannot accept that they do not know what the hell they're talking about and so and that would trouble them because then what and they've wasted all this time attempting to convince people and they'd realize that, that you know that they have been lying to you and and sadly lying to themselves and they will be exposed unfortunately they may be exposed in front of prying eyes you know where people that they have 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 forced to follow them because they have forced people to follow them. A lot of people do that outside, you know, literally with cults, C-U-L-T's. They, they, they do a for, they force you to follow them instead of allowing you to have the free will to choose whether you want to do so or not. They force you by, by scare tactics. They tell you that they have all this grand knowledge about stuff, you know, and they're barely 20 and 30 years old. <laughs> That's what's so funny about it. And I'm hearing that from 20 and 30 year olds. So you just have to, you know, and, and people that are listening to all of this content and just, just, just relax, you know, make sure you are, you're grounded and just see it as something enjoyable to watch and to listen to. That's what I do. And then every now and then I'll pick up some, some jewels from it, some information that serves me well. Because yes, there are good, good-hearted, good intentions of people out there that really care about society. They care about the descendants. They care about their heritage. They care about their children. They care about the planet. Sadly, as I sense and receive, you know, a lot of damage has been done, and it's it will not be repaired during our lifetimes, and probably for probably not ever. So enjoy what you can, but do do not overconsume yourself and be overconcerned about stuff you cannot control. Everyone says that. But just be be literal about that. Say, look, I can't control that. I need to pay my bills. I need to feed myself. I need to develop my skills and abilities and blah, blah, blah. There's plenty on our plates. We don't need to over overindulge ourselves. And a lot of bullshit that's out there, a lot of rambling and a lot of intentional wanting to create confusion. Like there are certain groups of people all over the all over the planet that have stolen a lot of material that does not belong to them. But yet they they're able to flip it, they're able to spin it and and make and and give the the illusion that is that is their material. Artificial intelligence is neutral. However, artificial intelligence is going to uncover all of that. Okay, so just think about that literally, figuratively and metaphorically, and also use some logic, some rational and reasonable thinking about that. Because you cannot have technology (laughs) that you believe is going to affect those people. It's going to affect them and not know that it's coming back to you in full force. Just like I said with the nuclear weapon, okay, you know, and our ignorance and our, our, need to de- destroy people. You know, when you deploy a nuclear weapon anywhere on this planet and even outside of this planet, you are affecting the universal balance of of the of the world, of the cosmos. Okay? So in other words, you think you th- you believe it's all beliefs. Your beliefs are going to kill you if you don't resolve them and challenge them. Your beliefs are going to kill you, but you cannot believe that you can Deploy a nuclear weapon across the country, and it doesn't affect the whole country, the whole planet. And we are still reaping those uh, those consequences of that now, okay? And then have these secret testing going on that's affecting our groundwater, affecting the people that are hiding in bunkers and caves, okay? <laughs> you know, they think they're safe there. But again, when a catastrophe happens, for those living in bunkers and hiding in bunkers and acting cowardly, I mean, no one's going to know you're there. And then at the same time, no one's going to be able to save you. 
you're going to be trapped forever. So I hope you have enough, you know, pork and beans and, and whatever you're storing on the, under the ground and believing that you are safe and sound there. It's just, we're all in this together. You know, we're all in this together. Some of our behaviors and actions, especially for those in the pyramid, the so-called leaders, are are comical. They, you know, it's like, you're doing what? <laughs> but, you know, that's the way of the world. And, you know, there's more entertainment to come because that's what it boils down to. And at the end of the day, nothing more, nothing less than entertainment. <clears throat> Excuse me there. So before I go, I want to go ahead and read something that was presented to us. Uh, oh, I don't know. I think it, it's been some time ago where I was familiar with someone called Ras, Rasputin. Rasputin. And this this man lived, I think, during the 1800s. And he was murdered because of the work that he was doing. And that that was the work of helping people to think for themselves. Now, imagine. Someone helping people to think from themselves gets murdered. And I think no one knows what ha- who was responsible or not. You can, you can research him. He was just an interesting man on top of every other, itch- itch- you know, people that are interesting, but yet not, not necessarily talked about. We, always talk, we all are always talking about these so-called high-end intellectuals that were nothing more, nothing less than regular, ordinary human beings that had theories and opinions that were unchallenged. Okay? That's that's what that was. But supposedly this this particular man had proof and evidence of what he was doing, and therefore he became a threat. Keep that in mind. So let me go ahead and read something here. Excuse me if I mispronounce words, because this is this was uh written in the eighteen hundreds. So the language and the you know the way some of the words are obsolete. We're not no longer say, saying these words. So I'll say as much as I can, you know, without uh, causing any confusion here. So here we go. By means of the power of my consciousness, with my intellect and with my rationality alone, I exercise all mightiness over my knowledge, the truth, my ability, my love, and my true truthfulness or truliness. Only my might spreads inside me. However, no other might does I am always conscious of my own thoughts and feelings. And I unfold and use my knowledge, my wisdom, my ability. And with this, I leave everything to true love, freedom, harmony, and and to the peace in me. The power of my consciousness is a distinctiveness to me. So I use it to my own well-being for my thoughts and feelings and the psyche as well as for my body. Daily, I unfold and use my consciousness power so it is constantly working in me and it allows me to face my own knowledge whereby I nourish my knowledge, my wisdom with love, feelings for others as well as with understanding and rationality. Through the power of my consciousness, I myself recognize my errors and resolve them and avoid committing new ones. So no error, errors can hinder me anymore in my development and advancement. No more errors or mistakes can hinder me anymore in my development and advancement. The power of my consciousness allows me to recognize and avoid false teachings, wrong wrong modes of thinking, and all dangers of belief belief dependency. Again, the power of my consciousness allows me to recognize and avoid false teachings, wrong modes of thinking, and all dangers of belief dependency, as well as harmful material and worldly things, also known as materialism. Through my consciousness power, I, myself, am in control of my intellect and my rationality, and through the almightiness of my consciousness, I am at all times conscious of my power, my ability, my peace, knowledge, as well as my wisdom, love, harmony, and I control everything. So take that in, 
Say it every day if you choose to. It's about universal love. It's about the evolution of the consciousness. So I'm going to sign off for now on this Saturday, March the 30th, 2024. Evolution of the consciousness. Love is spoken here. I'm Michelle Carruthers. Thank you so much for listening to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Please make sure to leave us a review. If you wish to ask a question to Michelle, you can leave her an email at missmichellecarruthers at gmail.com.